Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, it is Christmas Eve, and I'm doing some data log review. And uh, I've got something that I see actually more more frequently than you'd expect. Uh, and so, so this is uh, our next episode of when the shiznit hits the fan. And what we're going to talk about is what happens when you take your two oxygen sensor plugs and you flip them. So basically taking the factory's, you know, uh, plug for the driver's side bank and hooking that up to the passenger side and, and vice versa. Um, and, it, and it happens a lot, especially when guys go in and, you know, do wire tucks or they clean up the engine bay and, you know, kind of start getting away from how the factory routes things. There's a million different ways you can route those plugs where they will both still reach the oxygen sensors, but you've got the wrong one going to the wrong bank. And so this, this log we're working on right now, this is a gentleman named Myron Davis, shout out, uh, appreciate you. And this was kind of his first attempt at starting the car and driving it. So he's just running off a stock tune right now just to kind of get things going. He said, man, it leans way out, starts, you know, coughing and backfiring, and it's, it's not acting right, and he's not sure why. So here's what I'm going to show you in the log. So, so Myron, if, if you start off here, you know, this is where you start the car, and car's running along. And what we're looking at here is Lamsey 1 and Lamsey 2. So your Lamseys are basically uh, the computer's requested air to fuel ratio for for bank one and bank two bank one is going to be the passenger side of the motor uh, because that's where your your number one cylinder is and then lamsey two represents the request for the the driver side of the engine and so what happens is you know anytime you start the car it's always going to start in open loop which means it's not yet reading the oxygen sensors uh, and it's just doing whatever's commanded in your base open loop fuel table uh, so what that really means is when you first start it, you know, it's going to be, it's going to command something pretty rich. So down here you can see that it's commanding, you know, 11.8. Uh, and then as the, the time since you've, you've exited cranking continues, and as the engine warms up, uh, those Lamsies will slowly climb up, uh, you know, and that's all tunable, but you can see here they're, they're climbing along. And, and you'll also notice too that Lamsey 1 and Lamsey 2 are identical during this period. Um, because again, it's not reading your O2 sensors and making any adjustments whatsoever yet. So things are kind of humming along. The car's running. It's warming up. Uh, coolant temp here is at 124, 126, 128, 130. And then when it gets to right here in the log, you notice that there's a severe deviation. So right here is when it kicks into closed loop. And the Lamsies are no longer the same, which is normal because again, it's now trying to independently read your O2 sensors and, uh, you know, and, and adjust accordingly. And, uh, the first time I ever saw this in a log, I was super confused. I, I actually, I pretty much gave up trying to figure it out. And I, I, <laughs> I had to go back to, uh, Mr. Clint Garrity himself, uh, and, and ask for help. And, you know, after some back and forth, he said, well, man, I, Sounds like maybe the uh, the O2 sensors are flipped, and I was like, oh, it totally makes sense. And here's here's if you think about it, why that happens. So basically, as soon as it kicks into closed loop, what you notice is there's just a real subtle fuel difference here. So it's basically requesting a slightly higher Lamsey on this side, lower Lamsey on this side. So it would really mean that if it's requesting a higher Lamsey, which it's asking it to be a little leaner, it thinks that that bank is a little rich. And then we just kind of click over a, a tiny bit. And you notice that that gap is widening, 13 to 11 and a half. And then this side is maxed out now. This side is all the way as far as it's allowed to adjust, and it's requesting 10.98, which is really, really rich. And the other side's about normal. However, it just kind of continues getting higher and higher and higher. And then this side's pegged out the other way. So now Lamsey 1 is as low as it can go, commanding 10.9, and Lamsey 2 is all the way up here at 19, which unless you modified your tune, that is as far as it's allowed to adjust. And it's doing that because most likely you've got the wrong plug going to the wrong O2. So when it thinks that this bank is, you know, a little richer, a little lean, and it makes an adjustment, it'll make the adjustment. But what it's really doing is it's making an adjustment to the, the wrong bank. And then it's like, hmm, well, you know, we made a little adjustment. It didn't seem to help. So let's make it a little more extreme. And it makes that more extreme adjustment and it goes through the, the loop again and it's like, man, it's still not right. So it's basically going to take whatever that first one is that starts to make an adjustment and it's just going to keep pushing further and further and further because it never seems to make an improvement. 
Meanwhile, you're like if it's you know increasing fuel, it's actually increasing it to the other bank. So that bank is just getting crazy rich. So now it's reading and freaking out and going, oh, we better lean this thing out. So you basically end up where no bank is ever going to be happy. They're going to adjust to their absolute extremes. Now, this is where things get interesting. So you notice they've they've gotten just all crazy for this, you know, pretty substantial portion of the log. And then it goes back to somewhat normal behavior, but it's not totally normal because what it's doing now is it realizes that at least one of your sensors has failed. And so it's now running off of just one sensor. And while your fueling is not going to be correct left side to right side by just reading one sensor, one of them should be pretty accurate, one of them won't be. But unless your engine's unhealthy or you have an exhaust leak or something, you know, it at least should get you sort of ballpark close. Uh, but that's how you know that now from here on, it's running off one sensor because, again, the Lamsey 1 and Lamsey 2 are identical. It, yet it's not in, in uh, open loop anymore. It's actually reading the O2 sensor and adjusting. But it's just making the same cookie cutter adjustment to both sides. So that's not particularly accurate either. So really what I think we need to do, Myron, is... Uh, Go, go pop back under the car, take off your, your two oxygen sensor plugs, and flip them. Make each plug go to the opposite O2 sensor, um, and then run it again. And I bet you will no longer find this particular scenario right here. We'll start to get some meaningful readings coming from your, uh, your O2 sensors, you know, and then we can start tuning the car appropriately uh, and getting your fuel dialed in. But uh, my money says that's your issue right there. So give that a shot, buddy. And... Uh, Go fire up, do the same thing, make me another log, send it over, and, uh, and I'll take a look. And guys, if you ever see these Lambsies just suddenly fire off in opposite directions till they max out, probably got the wrong wrong harness going to the wrong plug. So, uh, guys, that's it, man. Uh, it's a little quickie. Merry Christmas, and uh, if I don't talk to you again, have a happy new year. Good luck. Godspeed.